In this video, we're going to look at clip looping in Pro Tools. Clip loops can be a useful tool for looping audio clips, MIDI clips, and even clip groups in Pro Tools. There are several ways to create a clip loop. First, click on the clip you want to loop. Then you can choose Clip, Loop, or use the key combination Command-Option-L on the Mac or Control-Alt-L on Windows. Then the clip looping dialog will open. Here you can specify the total number of loops you'd like to have, the total loop length, or you can even loop until the end of the session or until the loop runs into another clip on the track. You also have the ability to enable crossfades and set the crossfade settings just like you would in the normal fades dialog. Once you've configured the settings, click OK to create the clip loop. Here I've created a clip loop with eight iterations of the original two bar loop. I can tell it's a clip loop by the clip loop icon in the bottom right corner of each iteration. There are a number of ways to get back to the clip loop settings. First, select the clip loop. Then you can go back to the clip menu and choose loop, or once again use the key combination, or simply double click the loop icon with the selector tool, or right click within the clip loop and choose loop. Next, we'll take a look at editing clip loops. We can use the standard trim tool and click in the main part of the clip loop to add or subtract iterations from the loop. If you hold the control key on Mac or the start key on Windows while you trim, you'll automatically trim in units of one loop iteration. You can also use the standard loop tool to change the length of all of the loop iterations. I can do this by clicking on the loop icon and trimming that iteration to the desired length. As a result, you can see that all of the iterations have the new length and Pro Tools will automatically add or subtract iterations from the clip loop to keep the same overall length. In addition to the functionality we just discussed for the standard trim tool, the loop trim tool can also be used to create a clip loop from a non-looped clip. By simply expanding the clip using the loop trim tool, we can create a clip loop of any duration that will be composed of iterations of the original clip. This can sometimes be faster than going to the clip looping dialog to create a clip loop. If you decide you want to unloop a looped clip, simply select it, then go to the clip menu and choose unloop. A dialog will appear giving you two options. Clicking remove will unloop the clip and remove all loop iterations, leaving you with just the original source clip. Clicking flatten will unloop the clip and create individual clips for each of the loop iterations. So that's a basic overview of clip looping in Pro Tools.